guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be about airbag installs that's right you heard me correct i'm going to be installing airbags on my truck there's two reasons why i'm doing that number one is because when i hook up my camper slash trailer i do get a little sag i'm not a fan of that uh, and number two and this is the big one i've decided and this is after months of thinking about it and doing a lot of research and, and digging into everything I wanted to, to learn. I decided to turn my truck into an overland rig. So I went ahead and ordered quite a bit of things um, on the way. So so there'll be more videos to follow. And uh, and and uh, today uh, I'm on my way to go see Daniel from Davis Off Road, good friend of mine, uh, great great shop if you're in the central virginia area make sure you stop by if you need anything that has to do with your trucks um, at all because i i tell you i'm i'm very finicky i'm very picky and in, in, in what i buy and and who i deal with and uh he's definitely uh you know the man in this area just check out his reviews at davis off road i'll leave links below and uh, yeah, we're gonna be installing bags now. I don't know what kind of bags, what system I'm getting, but I trust Daniel enough that when I say this is what I need, he will get me the best possible choice out there. So today's video, we're gonna be installing airbags and it'll be the first video on my Overland rig build. Stay tuned. with my boy Daniel from Davis Off-Road and he's gonna explain to me what we are gonna be installing in my truck today. What are we gonna be doing, Daniel? All right, y'all, so today we're gonna be doing the Ready Air airbag system with the AirLogic IQ compressor system, the HD2. Uh, the Ready Lift came out with these bags about a year ago. They're ready to bolt on all kinds of various trucks, makes models, uh, makes the install super simple. The compressor is wireless, so once we put that on, get it all to the battery hot, uh, Jay will have complete remote control over this thing from the cabin off of a uh, phone app. So makes it super simple when you're uh, cruising down the road if you need to change pressures or stop at a station and add some weight to the camper or whatever he may be doing, he'll, uh, he'll be set all the way through. And you did say this is one of the newest models out? This is the newest model. This is the HD2, so this is the most heavy duty compressor. Uh, it also presets. Yeah, yeah. So we got presets. Um, How you many? Can, you can do infinite presets. So infinite, you've got okay. unloaded. You've got camper, trailer, boat, four wheeler, whatever you're doing. It's, it's got you covered. Okay. Yes, sir. I'm excited to get this installed. We ready, Daniel? Yes, sir. Oh, Let's man. do it. Thank you. Let's get that in there. All right, bro. Appreciate it.
All right, guys, so we just got the install completed, and Daniel's with me right now. He is going to give me a walkthrough and explain to me exactly the process in operating the airbags. Yes, sir. So come, yes, check, sir. come check these bags out, man. So the bags are mounted above the leaf spring and to the frame. Uh, very easy to see on your particular truck. It had this actuator arm that had to get a relocation bracket for the newer F-150. So all that is uh, part of the kit that ReadyLift provides with the Ready airbags. Um, super simple operation. The uh, compressor is mounted on the inside of the frame rail out of harm's way. It is weatherproof, so no issue there. Um, everything's wired up, fused, relayed, so it's good to go. Everything from now on is, is wireless. It all works right off your okay, phone. And that's on the fly? Yes, sir, on okay. the fly. So if you're going down the road, and you feel like you need to put a couple more pounds in it for stability or you need to let some out because the trailer's riding too high, all you do is hit the button on your phone and, and it happens while you're cruising. I got a question. Is, would that help with comfort? Yeah, absolutely. So a lot of people, uh, even when they're not towing, uh, they like to add a little bit of pressure to the bags. Not much, you know, 5, 10, 15 pounds maybe. Um, they feel like it gives the truck more stability uh, in cornering and also just a little more plush ride riding down the road. So very depending on how you like your driving style or what you're towing or you might go to Home Depot get some mulch and decide hey I want to put some air in the bags there is no limit to what you can do with these things and it's all about just finding what works for you will I will I cause any harm to the system if I forget to air out the suspension no you won't uh, so the truck will obviously sit taller in the rear if you don't have it loaded uh, the rear of the truck's going to be up but there's no harm to the bags uh, the preset of unloaded, which we'll show you there in a second on the phone, uh, drops it down to about 10 pounds of pressure, uh, eight or 10 pounds of pressure, and that keeps enough air in the bags to keep them from bottoming out if you were ever get in a situation like that. But ultimately, uh, the system, it's, uh, it's dummy proof for lack of better words. You know, you, okay. can, you can do whatever you want, but you're not gonna go the wrong way. Heck yeah. Yes, sir. You got the app, you yes, wanna sir. show me the steps? Yes, sir. Let's so what's the, what's the app called? All right, so the app is called Air IQ. Uh, very you're simple. doing this out of your own phone. Yes, sir. Me, right? This, this okay. is my phone. Excuse the screen. Um, but ultimately, when you pull it up, uh, it'll find your truck. This that's not that's not anger smashes, is it? That's, no, no, it's not. It's not. It's, <laughs> that's right. dropping. I that's got dropping. You, I got you. So when you pull it up, uh, it'll find your truck, obviously, with Bluetooth. Um, and right now, uh, if we... Uh, you got presets, you got camper, you got ATV. We made these for Jake. This is what he's doing with his truck. Uh, but each one has a different uh, setup. So if you, uh, you want to let the pressure down, easy as holding the button right there. If you want to air the pressure up, you just hit the button, hold it until your desired pressure. And it's, uh, you know, I leave it at 22, that's fine. So that's manual. That's manual, but that's manual. The presets, so, I'll just yeah, hit the button once. Yeah, so you, you okay. go over to a camper and hit that. We've already got that pre-saved, so it's automatically going up right now. Okay. And I think we had that one at like 50 or 60 pounds. And you can physically see the back of the truck coming up. Yeah. And then we want to go back to unloaded. You unhook from your camp, you're back for the weekend. You hit the unload button. It drops the air out the bags. Heck yeah. The back of the truck comes down. Now it's just like you were when you when you uh, pulled in the driveway, my man. And I think I think Brian, Brian's your brother, right? Yep. yep Brian Brian's did all the work. Yep. And I think you told me that I can even air up each individual side differently. You, you can. You can. So let so me let, let me show you that in the uh, in the app. There. Yeah, and that'll come in handy because if I if I'm camping and there's an uneven, unlevel ground. I can level it just with the suspension. You can level the suspension or you got yeah. too much coolers on one side or something like that. Yeah. You need more air in the driver's side or you had a big breakfast. Yeah. You, uh, you put some more air in the driver's side yeah. versus the passenger side. So let me show you that on the app. So right in the middle of the app, it's got a link. So that's unlinked and that's linked. What that means is when I go up with this, it's doing both bags at the exact same rate. But if you wanted to do it individually, like you had a big girl in a passenger seat or something like that, this is the right side. We're only airing the right side up right now. So let's see if we can. Oh yeah, you and can you can see... physically see the right yeah, side of the truck the is right coming, up. coming up. And then if you, uh, you know, push the button, let it down. Oh yeah. But it, like I said, most people link them up, do the same. But if you, uh, if you had a, a reason for having unlevel ground or, or more weight on one side, all you do is uh, you link up or you unlink it. Okay. Very, very simple, man. And you can save, like we talked about, 
It's got there's ATV. And I could just got plenty of space for presets. Keep adding, yeah. You just keep on adding. Change my camper to a trailer. Change the trailer to. That's right. That's right. Uh, and if yeah. you and if you decide you want to change the pressure, like uh, on your camper, let's say you uh, or the ATV, let's say you added some new tires and wheels and some racks and some other yeah. stuff, you just go back in, um, air up to your desired pressure and resave with the save button, yeah. and you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You just change I your can. pressure. I can. Yep. Yep. Thank you, Daniel. Absolutely, man. Guys, thanks you. for tuning in. My my good friend Daniel always comes through. Again, I don't trust anybody with my truck. You shouldn't either. Daniel at Davis Off Road. I'm gonna leave a link be, uh, below. Uh, like I said earlier, subscribe. Give me that thumbs up. Share the video and stay tuned because I'm about to turn this F-150 into an Overland rig. Thanks for watching.